right uh, and the now most of the time when you write uh, you do not write in the correct way to use the articles that means you sometimes don't use the right article in the sentence so sometimes articles are not needed in a sentence then you use and sometimes where you need the article you don't use so in this session we will look at uh, the articles a little bit detail and learn about articles right so let's move to the next topic right next slide can you all see the slide yes ma'am right now the slide has changed to yes ma'am what are articles right so yes madam okay right thank you uh, what are articles here there are questions given just go through the slide no madam for i read no no madam slides are not moving we can't see madam okay. it's not in the presentation okay wait Okay, now can you all see? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, right. Okay, please mute your mics. Uh, when I ask question, unmute and speak, uh, because there are a lot of number of students in, so we can have a kind of a disruption if there are too many sounds around us. Okay, so uh, looking at this, what are articles? Right. Articles are words that define a noun as specific. Right? Okay, so articles are words that we use before a noun, know that, before a noun, to identify whether it is referring to a specific thing or an unspecific thing. So specific means to point out one particular information or an object. Unspecific means not to point out one particular thing or a particular object, right? So that is what articles generally mean. It is a word that is used to define the noun as specific or unspecific. Now let's look at the um, examples. Consider the following examples. Example one, after the long day, the cup of tea tasted particularly good. So here, can you see where are the articles used? In example one, you can see in front of long day, the long day, and then you have the cup of tea tasted particularly good. So now in this sentence, we have used two uh, articles, that is the the, right, in two places. By using the article the, what are we doing? We are trying to point out or identify one particular thing in it, right? So if we see the explanation, by using the articles the, we have shown that it was one specific day that was long. Now, long can be meaning here, not the length, okay? It is not referring to the length. It is referring to a day that could have been very tiring, right? You had to do a lot of work and has come to an end, right? That kind of meaning that was long and one specific cup of tea that was tasting good so there that that tasted good is brought here okay so in this sentence now there are normal days right so here the writer is not referring to the normal days okay now uh, you missed the first session that is right we will upload the recording okay right we will definitely upload the recording so you can catch it up right okay so some of you are messaging while i'm doing the session right students you all should learn one thing when you are going when a session is going on you can ask the question at the end not while the question is going on right 
okay so you at the end you can talk about all the questions that you have to ask from me regarding the recordings and all okay so don't worry we are working it out right the recordings will be uploaded uh, you will have to wait a little bit we will soon upload it on lms right okay going back to this session by using the article the what we did here was we were able to identify one particular day that is out of all the normal days there was this long day and out of all the cup of teas there was this one particular cup of tea that tasted good so we used the article the here to identify one specific thing right in example 1 that is highlighted now we are moving into example 2 after a long day a cup of tea tastes particularly good now here the article is what is the article a is used in example 2 right right uh, after a long day a cup of tea tastes particularly good so now, now the article a here is what it refers to an unspecific information that means now we do not know there can be so many long days there can be so many cup of tea that may taste particularly good so it refers to a general idea in the example 2 it refers to the general it refers to general uh, references as a long day and a cup of tea that tastes particularly good so look at the explanation by using the article a uh, we have created a general statement implying that any cup of tea would taste good after any long day right so this is how the articles take role in a sentence right so simply uh, understand there can be specific articles and there can be unspecific articles so we are going to look at it one by one today so here is a simple example now let's look at one by one the definite article and the indefinite article the two types of articles right so english has two types of articles called the definite article and the indefinite article right so the definite article is the article that we refer to the right okay so let me look at this uh, explanation in this uh, slide uh, the definite article is the word the it limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing so students what you should learn is that when you are using the article the then you must know that you are referring to one particular thing not to a general idea okay so look at this example your friend might ask are you going to the party this weekend so now here the article comes before party and the idea here it brings out is that it refers to a party not that is happening every day but the party that is happening only on this weekend so here the idea is been Uh, specified to one particular uh, information right so you can see that are you going to the party this weekend so uh, definite articles will always take the role in identifying something specially in uh, specially highlighted in the sentence so here the party this weekend if uh, if it is in an indefinite way it would be like are you going to a party so we don't know what party on which day that is not mentioned so here you are mentioning this weekend where the idea becomes uh, very specified right so when you are making your point or idea specified you can use the definite article the right so are you going to the party this weekend now let's look at the next the definite article tells you that 
your friend is referring to a specific party that both of you know about. Right, this is the explanation. The definite article can be used with singular, plural, or uncountable nouns, right? So another important rule is that you can use the definite article in the sentences where you are referring to plural or sentences where you have meanings in singular form. And also you can refer to uncountable nouns. So what is this uncountable nouns? There can be some of you who may not know. So uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count. Right now, for example, if we take apples, orange, books, you can count and write sentence such as they are countable nouns. We can say this is, there are, okay. Uh, we can say there are two books on the table. So counted, right? So uncountable nouns means we cannot count. Examples like uh, we can say nouns such as uh, simple, simple uh, count uncountable nouns can be like uh, sugar, right? You can't say give me one sugar, right? You can't count it. You have to give a measurement, right? Like you have to uh, measure it, uh, you have to refer it as one kilogram of sugar. Right, so that is one tea, coffee, these are uncountable now. Knowledge, then beauty, right? Okay, water, flour, time. Okay, you all are also giving me uncountable nouns. Good. Money, yes, these are uncountable uh, nouns. Um, light, yes. So when you are using uncountable nouns, also you can use this definite article. Yes, blood, oil, good. All of you are giving me examples. Very good, right. So remember in article, there are two types. The first type is the definite article. That is the article we refer as the, and this is used to indicate something particular idea, right? Okay, and the other rule that you should know is that the article could be used uh, in singular form sentences, plural form sentences, and also in uncountable nouns when you are writing for the sentence in uncountable nouns as well. Yes, feelings also can be considered as uncountable, sad, beauty, anger, hungry, Right? Okay, so I hope the definite article is clear. Now let's move to the next slide. Okay, so we have some examples here. What are the examples? Please give me the hammer. Please give me the red hammer. The blue one is too small. Now see how uh, the definite article is used to uh, identify a particular thing and get the idea from that particular place, right? Please give me the red hammer. The blue one is too small. So how are we identifying? Now there can be so many hammers. So the writer wants one particular hammer that is in red color and the other one he uh, it is referred as blue hammer is too small now see this is how you make your idea specified when you are writing so when you are writing the try to make uh, having in your sentence uh, certain adjectives like the referring to colors that also could make the sentence more uh, interesting and more descriptive in the sentence structure. Now look at the next example. Please give me the nail. Please give me the large nail. It's the only one strong enough to hold this painting. You see the large nail. So there can be so many nails, but the writer wants the large nail. They are specified. And then it is the only, again, reference to a particular point, right? It is the only one strong enough to hold this painting. 
And then the last example, you can see, please give me the hammer and the nail, right? Again, uh, the articles have been used uh, in order to specify. Just not everything I want. I just want the hammer and the nail, right? So can you all make some sentences and share with me now? By using the definite article, like I, I want you to go for sentences like this. Please give me the red hammer. The blue one is too small or the, this type of an, uh, um, sentence. Please give me the large nail. It is the only one strong enough to hold this painting. Kind of a long sentence because you all are now in academic level, right? Ah, I saw a man and a dog. Now that is not a definite article. A uh, becomes an indefinite article. Give the car key. That is a good sentence. Okay, please give the car key. Please give me the English book. Okay. Mom, can you give me the permission for attending the night party? Okay, please look at the... I'm using the phone now. Okay, please give me the picture. She opened the gate. The exhibition is very interesting. Please give me... Uh, now, you can't use the article a. Uh. Definite article is only the, okay? Don't get it confused, right? Uh, more examples are coming. Please give the bottle. I know the woman is wearing a red hat. Okay, interesting. I attended the FCB. Okay, I missed that sentence. Down. Okay, I, I attended the FCB <clears throat> grammar class. Good, uh, please give me the white purse. Okay, I always had dream. I always had had a dream. That sentence right to the moon. I always want, now you can change your sentence as, it is my dream to travel to the moon. Right, that's how your sentence should be, Abdul Rashid. Uh, please give me, give the book to the library before the due dates. Good, good sentence, that is, please give me the water bottle, please give me the mobile. He has fallen into the well, please pass me the book. You don't have to use please, I just asked you to build up a sentence like that, okay? But good, uh, please, the, please the give me the pencil box. Uh, Shwini, uh, please give me the pencil box. There's, you have to remove the first the from your sentence. I'm watching the presentation. The book is on the table. He's the one of, he's one of my friend. Now there, you can't use the uh, Sanj Sajeevan. He's the one of my friend. That is incorrect. He is one of my friends. So there is no article used. Um, then don't run away from the dog. Okay, please wear the pink color frock. Okay, interesting. Please take me to the museum. I need to collect more information for the assessment. Please give me the pencil. Right, interesting sentences. Would you give me the best watch you have in your shop? Okay, that's a nice sentence. Give me the bat, it's my turn. Okay, please bring the phone to my office. Please bring me the qualified certificate. Bring me the qualified certificate or is it to give me? It has to be give, no? Right? You have to see that you're using the right verb when you're writing sentences. Please give me the pen. Please read the book and write the note. Okay, so there are plenty of messages coming. Right, good. I'm going through all your messages although I'm not reading every sentences. Okay, please give me the, please give me your, the, your kite. Uh, Supun, your sentence needs to be corrected. Please give me the kite or please give me your kite. So yeah, you can write it in two ways. Uh, 
one without the article and one with the article. So you will have to change your sentence. It's a little bit incorrect, right? Please read the comments. She's going to the town. Okay, someone has sent Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you give me the the your pen? Can can you give me? Now that is also incorrect. Lakshita Hera, the sentence. Can you give me your pen or can you give me the pen? Right? Okay. You can't use to the your together. Right? Okay. Right. So I'm reading your sentences. Mother's love is the pure love ever I ever I had love I have ever had. That's how it should come. So you all are having little bit mistakes in making sentences. Check on that. I'm sure you all are attending your EGAP classes, so you will your tutors will help you out in that. Okay, so thank you for sending all those sentences. Uh, it was good sentences that you all uh, sent me. Now let's move to the next slide, right? Okay, so now we are moving to the second type of the article, the indefinite article. So what are this indefinite article? A uh, and N, right? Now tell me, tell me, when can we use an N? I know this is a silly question, but I want to see whether you all are clear with that idea. When with vowels. With vowels? We, without vowels, ma'am, sorry, without In vowels. Front of vowels. Yes, we use N in front of vowels, right? Not with vowels. We use it in front of a vowel. So, what are the vowels? Can you tell me? A E I A G I O U. A E I O U. Yes. Okay. Thank you. A E I O U. Now, that is something that you all have to specially keep watch when you are writing. Okay. You have to pay attention to that. Ma'am, before the before the vowel word or vowel sound. It was vowel sound, right? Before the vowel letter, not the verb. Vowel Let letter. Letter. Now we say this is a apple, but when we say an orange, it is starting with O. So how do we say that? This is an orange. So it's always in front of a vowel letter, right? Okay. Don't get it confused. See, that's why I wanted to check with you all, uh, whether you all are clear with the word and the article N. Okay, right? Then what about apple? It starts with a, uh, yes. So now a vowel sound. It's the same, like it's ver, ver sound or, or sound, right? Okay, sound comes out from that letter, okay? Right, okay, let's move to the slide because you all are having so many, so many doubts. Uh, if you're going to discuss that, then we are not going to discuss this uh, slide. So let's move to this. Okay, so the definite, the indefinite article, the indefinite article indicates that a noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing. So indefinite article is quite the opposite of the definite article. So in the definite article, we look at referring to one particular idea or information, but when it comes to indefinite article, we are going to, uh, refer to an idea which is absolutely general in idea and not in particular information, right? Now look at this example. Again, we are going back to the party situation, right? For example, you might ask your friend, should I bring a gift to the party? Should I bring a gift to the party? Right now, there is this uh, indefinite article used right in front of the word. 
word gift. Right? So your friend will understand that you are not asking about a specific type of a gift or a specific item. Right? Now here, a gift. This is the part we are looking in this sentence. Right? So they are going, both of them are going to one party. Right? They know to the, the party that they are going to. That's what the party is highlighted. Again, the definite article is here. Now the indefinite article here, a gift, right? So we can see that there is no particular gift to mention. Like you can say if it's a definite article, should I bring, uh, bring the bag as a gift to the party? That will be definite article, but here it's a gift. So it is general in idea. So it can be any type of a gift a friend can bring to the party. So not a specific gift, but any type of a uh, gift or a specific item uh, can be taken as a gift to this party. Then another second rule point that you should know is that the indefinite article, it only appears with singular nouns. So we do not use uh, the indefinite article in the plural nouns or in the uncountable nouns. We only use them in the singular, singular nouns, right? Okay, right. Video, I hope you've got the idea here. Let's move to the next slide. Right, example. Please hand me a book. Any book will do, right? Please hand me a book. So referring to a general point and see the second part of the sentence is referred as any book will do. Then second example, you can see, please hand me an autobiography. Any autobiography will do, right? So autobiography means what? Do you all know what's autobiography? Biography written by the author, his biography. Yes, writing about oneself's life story is a autobiography, right? So it can be about the, any person. Now there are so many autobiography of famous people, right? Okay, so now looking at this example, you can see now the ideas are put out in a general view, right? It is not specified. They have not asked. Please hand me Barack Obama's autobiography book, right? Or please hand me uh, uh, Nelson Mandela's uh, autobiography. No. So if you do that, it becomes uh, a definite idea, right? So here it's indefinite. So please hand me an autobiography. So it can be any autobiography. Will do, right? Okay. So can you make some sentences using a uh, and and? Now, there has been some uh, discussion going on about uniform and our, now there are our word classes, right? So in front of certain word classes, we do not use and there are certain rules. So don't uh, uh, think that this is the right thing. There are some special cases when it comes to vowel sounding, right? Okay. Okay. Let me read. He is eating an apple. Yesterday I ate an apple. He ate an apple. Okay, no, let's not write sentences about apple. Let's go to something a little bit advanced. I want to be an engineer. I forgot to bring an umbrella to the classroom. Good, I have a pen. Okay. Um, an elephant and a giraffe fell in love. Okay, that is not a sentence, right? I mean, I don't know why. Now, one other thing that I would like to explain to you students, now, you all have come to the academic page, right? You all are starting a degree. 
So when you are writing sentences, try to think in an advanced way. And the other important thing is when you make sentences, see that your meanings, are, the sentences are having clear meaning, right? Okay, because when you practice writing like that, then only you will get used to writing it correctly in your exams. So when I ask you to send sentences, try to uh, bring out very advanced sentences if possible, right? I know you all have written about uh, he's eating an apple that is good, but try to bring out a little bit longer, more meaningful sentences. It will be more interesting. Okay, please give me a book. He's an engineer. He's an honest one. Now he's an honest one. You need to, now that sentence is more like incomplete meaning. You will have to explain. He's an honest person. That will be perfect sentence, okay? He's an honest uh, man that I have ever met. See, the sentence becomes very descriptive and full in meaning, right? An accident happened yesterday, not in yesterday. Happened yesterday and it was very terrible and was very terrible. Okay, that sentence also needs to be corrected. So there is uh, and is in front. I'm going to buy a bicycle. I like an ice cream, okay. I have to wear a uniform during working time. He wants to be a dancer. That's interesting. Okay. There was an interesting program. Now that sentence, you can make it more descriptive and meaningful. You can say there was an interesting program on the subject of software engineering, right? Make your sentence nice, complete, right? Okay, good sentence. Your sentence is not wrong. It's correct. I'm just uh, helping you to advance your writing, okay? Uh, I want to be a computer engineer, okay? My father is a gentleman, okay? Let's eat an orange before, eat banana. Okay, now see, these are this you have to, it's okay to make things slight, but try to make interesting sentences. Meaningful, interesting sentences. Please give me, please, please, I think it should be, please give me an example for this question, okay. I, I wrote a note, no, it has to be, I write a note. If it's in the present form, you have to write it in a different way. I'm writing a note. I need a bicycle. Today is a rainy day. Then I went. I then I want an umbrella. An Iron Man is brave. An Iron Man, no, they are strong. You can directly start Iron Man. I have a pen. It is very special. There is an hour to start the class. I was an adventure. I went on an adventurous trip. Muhammad Ruchet. You have to correct that part. I went on an adventurous trip. We we had, and my friend already, no, your sentence needs to be corrected. How can we correct it? You can start with, I went on an adventurous trip and me and my friends had unforgettable memories from that trip. Okay, right, I'm getting a lot of uh, for sentences. I have a girlfriend, she, she always hit me, hit me an umbrella yesterday, I hit her an ice cream. Okay, I don't know why <laughs> you have come with that sentence. Let's not go for violence, right? Let's go for smooth sentences, good sentences. Uh, the teacher is talking about a 10 year old boy, good. He wants to learn a foreign language. He is a handsome boy and he works as an engineer. Your spellings needs to be corrected, Umesha. And some of the words don't use sign uh, words for sentences. Always write the word. It's going to be a good day. She has a very kind heart. Okay, The burglar took a sapphire necklace and some valuable sculptures from the museum. Whoa, interesting. Good sentence. She is... Reading, I think it has to be G, a book while I go there. 
three more sentences. If he worked hard, he would earn a promotion. Okay. Miss Sishara, you have a best skill in English pronouncing. <laughs> okay. Okay, right. Okay, you have taken me into the sentence as well. She has always been workaholic, right? Okay, interesting sentences. Good. So, something that I want to tell you all is whenever that you're writing sentences, right? Uh, try to advance your sentences a little bit because now that you have entered into academics, we expect you to write academic level writing. Uh, so, when you practice also, if you try to practice it in writing sentences in an advanced level, that will help you in the future, right? Okay, right. Let's uh, move to the next slide then. Thank you for sending those sentences. Okay, now let's move to some uh, interested there. We have zero articles, right? Zero articles. Occasionally, articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns. In these cases, the articles is inside but not actually present. So now there are situations, right? I told you there are always uh, special cases when it comes to a uh, certain grammar, right? Okay. So there are situations where sometimes we do not need to write uh, article, whether it's a definite or indefinite article, right? In certain cases, we have to write. In certain cases, very, uh, uh, very unique uh, sentences, we don't need to use these articles. So let's look at that. So occasionally, articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns. Omitted meaning not used or not taken into consideration, okay? In these cases, the article is implied but not actually present. Now, let's look at these examples, right? Looking at the first example here, article is omitted before nouns that refer to abstract ideas. So, when we are writing sentences based on abstract ideas, we do not sometimes use uh, articles. Like now look at this sentence example. Uh, the creativity is a valuable quality in children. Now, where is the abstract idea in this sentence? Creativity. So before we go into that sentence, let's discuss what is abstract idea means, right? So abstract idea means it describes certain things that exist as ideas or feelings or qualities. It does not refer to anything that is materialistic or to anything that is kind of an object, right? Okay, that is what this abstract ideas are meaning here. So in this sentence, the abstract idea refers to the creativity of the child, right? So look at this part, sentence. The creativity is a valuable quality in children. So using there, the definite article is completely incorrect right the correct form of writing it is creativity is a valuable quality in children so we have to remove that definite article they are the and write create you have to start the sentence from there creativity is a valuable quality in children so that is one example let's look at the next example Sports and academic subjects do not require articles, right? So when you are referring to topics such as sports or when you are referring to uh, topics uh, in academic subjects, right? We do not use articles. Keep this in mind. You're going to do a lot of academic writing, right? So remember this. Okay, remember that. So sports and academic subjects do not require articles. Now look at the example here. I like to play the cricket. So it's wrong. We don't use the cricket. We say I like to play cricket, right? Uh, the, or you can say I like to play football. Or you can say I like to, I like to study software engineering 
uh, I like to study statistics, the subject names, right? We don't say I like to study the statistics. That is incorrect, right? So there are certain situations where we are not using the, the articles. We are not using them because uh, it is not uh, kind of a, a rule. Uh, we have a rule that is brought in that should not be used when we are uh, especially referring to abstract ideas and topics such as sports and academic subjects. Right, then there are also other examples on proper nouns, pronouns, and some languages and nationalities also do not use uh, articles, right? So there are various situations for that. So just know these are now the most um, significant uh, areas that you will have to keep in mind that you need not use an article when writing. So can I have some sentences based on abstract ideas without using the definite or the indefinite article? Abstract. Can you send some sentence on this kind of a, on this section on abstract ideas where we are not using uh, definite articles? I like to work according to a regular timetable. English is quite often the language of choice when speaking to an international audience. New Lily is a national flower in Sri Lanka. I am Sri Lanka. Kumar Sankara is the finest playing fresh. Happiness is meeting old friends after a long time. Okay, that is an interesting sentence. Leadership is an important thing to all students. She lives in Italy since 2000. Sometimes life is complicated. Okay. Right. I like to watch. I like to watching TV. You know, now last session I did discuss about continuous tense. Right. So check on that tense rule. I like to watch TV. That's how it has to come. I like bike rides. My hobby is reading newspaper. Studying is the important thing in our life. Oh, that's a good sentence. Imagination is better than better than education. Okay. Mother prepares lunch. Humble is a very being humble. You have to say the word being humble is very good quality. Dogs love to run around outside. It was an extensive lesson, however, it's a paramount. Now, this sentence is not clear. What is an ex you are not referred to? What is this lesson name? One thing, and the reason for it to become paramount in effect. You see, this is how some of your sentence does not make complete meaning. So when you write the sentence, see that it's giving a clear meaning as well. I like the idea, okay, I'm studying. Winter is coming, okay, someone is referring to Game of Thrones. I don't know why, that is not, that cannot be taken as a sentence, suck with. Uh, I can't omit anything for studies, okay. She's clever than, she's, now see, she's clever than his brother. Now see the gender is important. When you write sentence, check your gender when you're writing. She is clever than her brother. No, it's how it has to be. Clever than her brother. Man creates problems themselves. I like to hear your voice. Uh, okay, I like the cartoon. I'm playing cricket. Uniqueness comes from people's mind rather than from their experience. My mother has a big... Now, there is no abstract idea in that sentence. Mount Everest is the highest. It is not abstract.
I like black color, but I prefer white color. My favorite book is Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code. Okay, Sigiriya is very famous ancient kingdom in Sri Lanka. Reading is an important thing for, for all the people, not for the all people, for all the people. She told that, she, now there are two times that has been written, she loved to visit Singapore at least once in her lifetime. Okay, right. Entertainment is very important to our busy life. There's an abstract idea, okay. Uh, friendship is the most important thing. Reading is reading is make knowledgeable child. Reading can lead to knowledgeable. Yeah, there needs to be something corrected there. Not clear. Knowledge is power of human. Okay. Okay, the lesson article was an extensive lesson and it's paramount. Okay, okay right. Okay, your sentences are good, but some of your sentence did not touch the abstract ideas. You all again went to the definite and indefinite articles were used. Uh, you have to highlight the abstract idea as I mentioned, that is uh, describing things that exist as ideas, such as feelings, qualities, or uh, other things that are not materialistic, like uh, some of you brought out uh, so to history, love, democracy, freedom, these words could be used, right? Okay, slide. Moving to the next slide, I think we have come to the end. Uh, so before we go to that part, right? Uh, can you answer this one? There's a small activity. It's quite easy. I'm sure you will be able to answer this. Can you see this? Choose the correct article uh, and the. Can you see the slide? Uh, the screen has changed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you give answers to this? Uh, just type it out. Are you coming to the party next Saturday? The, party. the okay, right. Uh, I bought a new car TV. I new bought a new TV set yesterday, right? Okay, I'm getting answers. I think the man over the there man is. Over there. I think the man over there. Now, see specific, right? See this. The man over there is very ill. Over oh, there, referring to the place, right? He can't stand on his feet, right? The next one, I watched. The, uh, the, what? No articles. They, there cannot Artic be articles used, right? See, I'm yeah. testing you. The gift. It was... So here it has and to be. Uh, here it has to be. That video. should be another verb. Okay. Video. video. Like I watched. I watched. I watched video. The video. The video. The video. Or the video I watched. The video, video you had sent me. I watched the video. Watched the video. Is it the or the? The video. The, 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 the. Why, why are we saying it the? Because it is something particularly sent by the person. See, I watched the video you had sent me. So the important word you. Specific. So there it is becoming specific. If there is no you, then you can say I watched a video. That will be the end of the sentence. Right, next one, she was wearing uh, and Yes, she was wearing an mm -hmm. ugly dress when she met him. So, and so here you have to check mm -hmm. the vowel is there. Right. No. Do you want to go to Do you the, the, the restaurant? restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant.
Yes, good. So do we want to go to the restaurant where we first met? So important section is here. We are identifying that from this part. Right? And this, I think, most of the sense. Right. So you all sent me the answers on text message as well in the chat. Okay. So keep it clear, right? Sometimes now you will have to focus on abstract ideas as well, especially on academic subjects. So Pay attention to that when you are uh, dealing with articles. Now, uh, let me go back to our slide again. Okay, can you all see this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, now what you have to do is you have to go to the FCB page again, right? Okay. Uh, let me share that with you, right? Okay, so go to your FCB page, right? And uh, go to the lesson one, right? And select this. Go and do the uh, topics on intensifiers, imperatives, I'd like. Right, okay. And you see the articles is there in grammar topic two in this. Yeah, articles with countable, uncountable nouns. Right. So you can do the activity here, right? And you have the explanation down here, right, which we have discussed. So you can go through this, right? This I have already now discussed in detail. So what you have to do as homework is you have to go and do these sections. I'd like imperatives and intensifiers. Try to do this and submit these challenges in this page. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, so I hope you had a clear uh, understanding on the articles, right? Uh, so go and do these activities, homework, A1 activities. Try to do these uh, sections uh, in the FCB page. Right? Yeah, so that is the end for today's session. Uh, so you will uh, be having the next session next week. Right? Uh, I hope the session was clear for you today. And it was yes, interesting. Your sentence is you, more interesting. Right? Okay. And uh, when we attend the test after we log out from this, QTs are saved to FCB automatically. Yes, yes, right? Uh, 